What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are in the dark, but that's because it, it just looks better in the dark. I tried it with the lights on and it, all you can see is my reflection from the TV and nobody wants to see that. You just want to see the TV itself. But anyways, this video is about the Roku Media Player. I made one of these videos about a year and a half, two years ago when I first got the TV and I've seen the comments on that specific video and I've seen a lot of questions asked on it. And so I picked a few of the best questions, well not best, there's no such thing as the best question, but I've three of the most common questions, I guess. Not three either, it's, I don't know how many, whatever. I'm rambling about nothing. But it's about the Roku Media Player. Uh, again, there's updates since the last video I made and I never used this Media Player regardless. Like the first time I used it was when I made that video and I haven't used it since, since I'm making this video. Uh, but I'm just gonna show you what it looks like now answer the questions on that video with this new update. But before we get started, one of the first questions I've seen um, asking for help, I guess you could say, was whenever you put whenever you put a USB drive or whatever it is into the TV, nothing pops up for the media player to play or something. So first thing you wanna do, go to settings down here on the bottom. Hit that up one button, go to system, up, up, oh, you can't go up, oh yeah, you can. And then go over to USB media, and then there's this prompt right here, auto launch. You can change it to prompt, which is, it'll ask you if you wanna to go to the media player whenever you stick something in the USB drive and you can hit yes or no, or you can turn on, so automatically switch to the media player whenever you plug something in the USB drive no uh, yes or no question about it, it just automatically switches. And then there's off where it won't do anything when you plug it, plug something into the USB drive, it'll act like nothing just happened. Um, and then you gotta go to the media player by yourself to view whatever it was. I always do mine as prompt because you never know when you wanna use it or not. Um, but that's the first thing. And then the second thing I was gonna show you is which software version I'm on currently um, is 10.5.0 is the current software version I'm on. Um, and I just updated this right before I made this video or started this video. So 641 right now and I did it at 625. So I don't think any updates happened in the last 16 minutes, but you never know. I might have that bad timing. Um, so you can check if this is the same version you're on, if you're on a prior previous one, maybe you need to update to the newest one. I don't know. Mine does it automatically every day. Every time I turn on the TV, I think. Um, so it's whatever. But now that we got that out of the way, I already have the USB drive plugged in to the TV. So if I just go ahead and scroll down to the Roku Media Player, I literally left it off popped this up right where I left off on there. So let's go to the home page. This is what it looks like. Um, photo, video, audio, all. I mean, it's self-explanatory what those mean. One question I've seen recently on that previous video was about the video and they said, is there an option for the video to loop? Um, and the answer to that is yes. All you have to do is go to video, go to the folder that you have, so whatever folders you have in that video category, and then you hit the asterisk for that search and options thing, and then you can go, oh wait, you gotta click on the video first, and then go to the search and options, and then you can hit repeat all or not and of course this just means it'll continuously play it over and over again until you uh, stop it yourself and we'll just test it out real quick and I'll just skip it to the end so we can see if it loops or not so this is me not touching anything that's the end of the video and it's loading and it starts over again and then if I just want to stop it you know, just hit the back button and you're good to go. And you can do the same thing with pictures, like a slideshow. 
But again, you gotta make sure that you make a separate folder for what you specifically want to be repeated. If you just have um, a whole bunch of pictures or a whole bunch of videos unorganized into folders, then it's just gonna replay all of the videos that you have and all of the photos that you have. So you gotta be extra neat and tidy if you wanna loop specific things. Um, and another question I seen was, can you plug in your phone to the TV and use the storage drive on your phone and play it on the TV? And I never thought about that before either. So it was a great question and I tried it out before making the video. I, I obviously can't show you right now because I record using my phone, but it didn't work. I have a Samsung Galaxy S21 and I plugged it in to the TV. You know, the prompt pops up on my phone if I want, you know, how I want to use the USB port. And I used it for the data transfer and all that, different options. I tried all the different options and none of them worked on the TV. It just showed that nothing was connected to the TV and through the USB port at least. So unfortunately you can't use your phone storage on the TV, at least not this specific phone model. Uh, whatever it may be. Maybe iPhone you can, I don't know. I don't have an iPhone, so I'm not sure. And maybe different models of the Galaxy phones or whatever Android phones are out there might work. Maybe it's just this one. You just have to try it yourself, but all I know is it doesn't work for my current phone. And so that's the main things that I've seen questions about. Um, Now let me show you one more thing real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the USB drive. It's definitely a struggle trying to find it in the pitch and darkness in here. So I unplugged it. So if I go to photo, I don't think anything should show except this right here. And it says connecting to a DLNA media server or USB device to play or view content from a network media server. First, make sure your media server is online to play or view content from a USB storage device, like an external storage device, um, hard drive. Connect your device to the USB port on your TV, drive format supported, and then it lists the ones that are supported. I don't even know what half of those are. Um, so those are the ones that are supported by the TV so I, I'm sure there's questions in the comments saying, you know, what kind of formats are supported for the USB. There's your answer right there from Roku itself. Um, so if you have anything other than those, it's probably not going to work. You never know, it might, they might have they forgot to add it on, but uh, I doubt it. So that's the, the main things there. Um, one other question was what USB drive size is compatible with the TV. And I would guess 32 is probably the one or the highest you can go. Um, I personally don't have anything higher than 32, so I wouldn't be able to actually test it out or not, but it makes sense because, uh, well, right there. And if you want to use the pause, live TV, rewind, fast forward thing function, I think it says the highest flash drive you can use is 32 gigabytes, but I could be wrong. It might be 64. It's been a minute since I remember seeing that wherever it was. Um, I think it was on one of the, one of the setting tabs on here, but um, that's the answer to that, but I haven't tested it. so. Not 100% sure, maybe someone else can answer that question. Um, but that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully I answered something that you may have a question on. Um, a lot of the comments got answered in that video itself by other people or myself. Uh, so I didn't go ahead and you know talk about those in this video. I just try to talk about the main new comments I've seen since a lot of people told me that there's an update on the media player. Um, it really doesn't seem like that much changed other than a lot of the icon pictures, but 
there might be more that I don't know about. Like I said, I don't really use the media player. Um, but if you got any other questions, go ahead, leave it in the comments down below and I'll test it out myself um, and then answer your question after I try it out and let you know if it worked or not or whatever it may be. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next videos.